Sana bana ne dümelen bir şey ne hello? Bir kamera mı makinik, kamkuru makinik, makinik, kamkuru makinik, And welcome to Kemi TV. Nişelen om kulu seyda. Kela la maskur skur. Kela la makos mkul. Makos, iho sana. San bingele la nini makaya. San bonga man mohutin koni nukhlanga na na tipu tigulo shele letu. Nyan bingele la man montano, montano lugam peri na. Ya. Nyan ga maskur skur la ikela la makos. Duwe, nyamaza. Kushwa. Makos. Namtanje wena mbugeli besifuna ukulma ngogula. Food. I wanted us to talk about food. And just to bring some kind of consciousness, knowledge, awareness to say, do you know what you're putting into your body? Yeah, mkulu, I don't know if you want to kick it off. This is a harsh topic due to um, the programming that is so prevalent you switch on your tv fast foods are being thrown at your face high fat foods that cause your heart to be sick your heart which is the physical manifestation of your heart center if it's physically sick there's no way you can have a balanced heart center if your physical heart is clogged with cholesterol if your physical heart is clogged, if your physical heart is sick your arteries are blocked um high salt foods high sugar foods mm. that make you addicted to mm. the body if it is in constant processing of foods the spirit cannot awaken to do its job consciousness cannot rise mm. so it's a good way to do what to keep us unconscious you watch tv and you never ask yourself why are they called programs they are there to program you to become addicted to different types of things psychologically and physically. Hmm. The reason we're starting in such a deep way is because Ugulja um, was never meant to be something that you become addicted to. Hmm. You get buffets now. It's not healthy. Hmm. Nkulu, do you know, Uguti, the reason why we fast is in order for you to separate from the physical, money with the spiritual, to easily receive spiritual guidance, to easily understand it. Mm, messages. Yeah. And so, if you are in constant addictive mode, you cannot think of spiritual things. Yingaku, you will notice people that end up going on the consciousness path, on the spiritual path, begin to, how can I put it, they shift from the physical realm, the 3D realm, and they start moving into the 4D and the 5D realm, the spiritual realm, which is the reason why you find that you start not being able to tolerate certain types of foods. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are certain foods by way to, that have been designed systematically to keep you unconscious mm. to suppress you to suppress you the way meat is slaughtered plays a huge part in your consciousness mm. if meat dies a violent way if an animal dies without respect it dies full of anxiety it dies fear. full of fear mm. you absorb that energy you absorb that, fear. that frequency mm. i know our name was it man just now what i'm rushing I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you what it does at spiritual level. I've seen from my experience and I've heard from the experience of other shamans that I've also watched. Um, that it's willing to give up its life force for my benefit. Greater most of the time, whenever... I've noticed it becomes docile as if it accepts you are doing this out of Utan, not out of gluttony. Gluttony, yo, Sir Julia Maj. Gluttony is one of the seven sins that block one of the seven chakras. I think you may love, okay? Let me let you take over. Yo, I, you, 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 you did too much actually, but 
But yeah, we wanted to um, present to you that there is also a very silent danger that we live with, and that is the very food that we purchase from, wherever we purchase from, and we put into our bodies. The whole point of food is to nourish and replenish effectively in such a way that our bodies can take what they need to replenish themselves. But it's as if the food that we that which we consume nowadays is sham food. I'll say that because they even say that it's genetically modified. You can't even sue them. For example, did you know that white rice has no nutrition? Put you, you boil it and then you you get rid of the white stuff, the starch, and then you boil it again and then you eat it. You're eating nothing. It doesn't have any nutrition. Do you do you read the ingredients that that make up the food you eat, whatever it may be, amazimba, noodles, whatever. Do you know there's something called TBHQ? Go and Google it. Tolubuti. It's in our food, but you'll find that in some eastern countries in Japan, it's banned because it's linked to some cancers. It's carcinogenic. But it's in your aromatics. It's in your. Do you Google the stuff? Do you know what gelatin is? If you had to see how they make gelatin, I don't think you'd want to eat that thing again. But we, we chow it like it's, it's, it's just okay. But so, Luguti, even notice a lot of these fast foods chains use the color red. Why do they use the color red? Because they're playing on your root chakra, which resonates at the red frequency. The root chakra deals with survival. And the food that is, you end up, I won't mention any fast food names, but this thing. Then after you've bought it, you're like, but actually I didn't want this thing. It's because they've played, but they're they playing on your chakras, your root chakra. And then you you also, this, did you know that you're not supposed to eat too, eat too much food and too late before you sleep? Because if you do that, your body is spending a lot of energy processing food and it's it, it no longer is able to go where it goes in terms of the dream realms and receiving dreams. Why? Your dreams are blocked because you ate too much before you sleep. All your dreams are blocked because you're not eating nutritious food. They're not giving you the energy you need to be alive in your astral form. And we wanted to bring this consciousness. The, the birds are like, ah. <laughs> yeah, we just wanted to bring this um, consciousness to you to say, Look at what you're eating. Do some research as to what are these ingredients that they're putting in my food. How is this thing made? And uh, we're supposed to be eating foods that are from the soil, like our ancestors did. You're supposed to be eating food from the soil, but it's as if now they're making any and every form and kind of imitation of the food that we that we used to eat from the soil. Gunjalo <laughs> Kesha. Um do your research, but I'm going to give you actual facts now. Do you know that fruits Kesha, take two hours to process in the system? Mm. Fruits and veggies. Mm. Nuts take about three to four hours. Around those hours, do your research to verify the time. Um, starch takes about four to six hours to process in your system. Going back to Lendoy Kuma, eating too late or eating too much. Meat, baguette, inyama, stays in your system, takes a day and a half to two days to process in your system. So, moja inyama, gakuru, your body is busy processing in inyama. Angege uti uda inyama. And you're trying to astro project. You're trying to ukumana. Awaken kundalini. You're trying to ukumana nemimoye. Your body is so busy that molele, you cannot do what? Be busy with spiritual, mental, or astral things. Because you are in the physical. You are busy. You can't say, No. You are busy. You're mm. too busy to do anything with your consciousness. I want to say something that mm. Inyam, I won't tell you guys. Mm. But I'm going to tell you guys. Because one of my mentors told me, Uguti, a lot of the stuff that they use, the JSO, so for example, they rely on you eating junk food. Did you know that? Did you know that just by cleansing your diet, so drinking water and having only fruits and vegetables for seven days, 
you've already done 80% of it's it's umlisa kanjalo umuntu onjalo it's akukholula did you know that and that, and this costs you no money e inyanga they're not going to make money now because we're not you you eating clean so they just what about shapanka so na lisa series did you know that um he mentioned a very powerful point tying it down to fasting itself yes fasting isolates immititizeni emibi efakiwemzi mbenwako and the fire that rises through fasting the kundalini along with it becomes a purifying fire of the soul eshaya konke okufakwemzi mbenwako yingakho you will notice or rather if you do your research as well but from what i know and what i've experienced is ukuthi when you fast at a physical level your body on the first day to the second day of beginning to fast for mugudla begins to repair itself it begins to kill off cancerous cells it begins to rid itself of toxics toxins ukubona ukuthi um ukudla sikudlayo is a planned attack on the consciousness and soul of humans amanzi i'm not even going to go into fizzy drinks i'm full of ngomkwatisi i'm not even going to go into alcohol I sizongena ku maritistale ngamanzi. The water you drink has so many toxins. Yes, Kat, I was watching a video the other day. Um it's 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 on the social media platform I won't mention. Mm. Go look it up. Um about they were they would put a cloth on a tap by fasting it again and then they would let the water run for 10 minutes. Whenever they would remove the white cloth, the white cloth would be stained brown. Good morning, sir. Uguti, the water we're drinking is not pure, but by the programming, when our uchelwa uguti amans work for all the specific okay, plants, guys. and when they get to that plant, ayakes or fagama chemicals. Are you sure of that? Unga zuabati. Now we take a white cloth, put it on your tap. Unga ingomkuse ido rumkul makeni. Put it on the, let your water run, and then after take it off. We beg in the end so that you can have. Ubo Thomas, calling of Bo now, but actually, what these two were saying is a fact: the chlorine and the the fluoride in your water mm. works against your pineal gland. Your pineal gland is intricately linked. Matter of fact, your pineal gland is the seat of the soul. It is linked to your third eye chakra. So if it's calcified, anyegi sebenz, and if inga sebenz, isolakoles touch your third eye. Cannot see into the spiritual realm. About Tagati Bayo Gaza Ure. You won't even see in the Aba Ezenzegai Kayam Gomoya because when you sleep, you are blind. Yo, I killed us. That's right. I, I I think, and, and this is the information that we just wanted to re- relay as part of the purpose of this channel to bring consciousness, particularly to us, the melanated nation, so that we are aware spiritually of what's going on and how to go about protecting ourselves i'm telling you just i went on a two week fast just veggies and, and 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 fruits and water and it did me wonders it 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 did me wonders and and i'm and no cheating just only veggies fruits nuts and water it did me wonders the amount of of fat in our food is not healthy for us but due to our programming it's hard to to get rid of what they've done to our taste buds mm. i'm sure you are aware of it. it's hard our taste buds are addicted to unusual amounts of sugar, of sugar correct. unusual amounts of salt correct more than we need anything in excess even what is said to be good and healthy for you becomes a destructive weapon against you. correct and correct. the world we live in fast foods preach excess Mm. I want to get in here and say the the amount of sugar that we eat today in 2023 versus the amount of sugar that our African ancestors ate in the year 1752 is vastly different. It's it's two different worlds and the issue becomes our bodies are not I don't want to say they're not designed but I can say that they're not designed to process the amount of sugar that we intake today and this leads to things like um diabetes because so you have this thing that's called your pancreas it it secretes insulin which kind of, which basically processes the sugar so that your body can use it for energy right but now if you const- if you intaking too much sugar and your bo- your body is constantly 
secreting insulin, you develop something called insulin resistance. Now, basically that insulin doesn't work and you're not able to process the sugar and that's diabetes and you are now a straight line between yourself and Ituna Lako before, before time. By one and two and, and that's, that's why you're right. That's why there's so many sick people. That's why there's so many, uh, sorry, so many obese people. Look around you and you will notice we are not okay. It's just that we are told in our current state we are where we should be. But in terms of spiritually and physically, the human race is terribly sick. Not by their own doing, but by the hand of those that need us to remain sick. Because Umunto Kulayo cannot pay attention to the higher psyche. Mm. They need to keep us on the rubbish on the animalistic brain, mm. what they call the reptilian brain, the mm. lower cortex, the survival instinct brain. I need to eat. I need to have sex. I need to survive. I need to protect myself. If you are constantly at that vibration, like you said, at the root chakra vibration, you never ever rise up to the higher chakras. You never ever pay attention to the higher man, the higher self. I in in Jalukesha and yeah, I just hope you guys would will, will take something from this video to say uh, what am I eating? Why? And even I believe that even this breakfast thing is an agenda. Ah, now mm. I'm really, now I'm really. Yeah, now, now they're going to say, yes, <laughs> but yeah. breakfast, I believe, is an agenda to push production, to push sales, to push the mass sale of foods for, for capitalistic and profit purposes. But if breakfast is not you're supposed to wake up do your work and then eat to replenish and then work again mm -hmm. the, this thing of breakfast you must i know the dietitians are going to come for me and say he does not know what the mm -hmm. fuck he's talking about but i really think that we eat way more than we need to particularly because we, you're sitting at a desk the whole day but you want to have three meals and then snacks in between and then you don't see a, a problem with that at you that non-nutritious meals non-nutritious meals at that Try and incorporate into your diet more fruits, yes. more veggies, more fasting, less meat. Meat was a delicacy back in the day. Mm. We eat, these days, without meat, it's not food. Yeah. <laughs> but we were respected to the degree that we understood which if it may no miss one it's either in it must be either in celebration in fact it's in celebration yeah or if it's a now an event you would see we haven't it's eaten it. meat in a while so we think we may want but in a free to attack you know in glue but where to a year get a pork and they won't listen it's, it's fine crustaceans and pork mm. It's the quickest way to uvale your heart center, uvale your throat chakra. There's a lot of people that are going to say, I don't give a damn about my chakras. Um, your chakras are your spiritual organs and are intricately linked with your physical organs. It will manifest physically. Sure, that one is true. That one is true. No, I, I think I've had my say. I think if you, if you w wish to be alert, you... Do some reading and some research into the food that you eat. If this doesn't speak to you, then it's okay also. Um, well, Peter, I would just like to say anything we say, you can choose to take it with a pinch of salt. You can choose to um, take it and go and research it further because the knowledge we're giving due to time constraints and so forth, we can only give you so much knowledge. But you on your free time, stop spending time as well. Uguja and consuming also goes into knowledge. Stop eating mental junk food. Isn't this nanyanzeli next mentally? Isn't this nanyanzeli next? Ukhieli la pekai ubuga imoja love uzukatalino because your brain isn't growing from all this content. Even, 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 even so, uh, you are, yo, now it's going into a different topic, but let's talk. Even like social media, like the, uh, there's a, there's a, there's a documentary on, 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 I don't know if I can say the name of the company, but can I? Yeah, bro, we mm. can. There's a, there's a documentary on Netflix 
and I think it's called The Social Dilemma. I highly recommend that you watch it. It speaks about how the the creators and designers of those social medias, I'm not going to mention the social medias, mm. but the, the creators of those social medias don't allow their kids to have accounts because they understand that we've designed this thing to intentionally and deliberately hook people onto these platforms so that they spend as much time on these platforms so that they can ge- generate ad, ve- ad revenue. Mm. And this, it... It has so many ripple effects on society, on how we interact with one another, because they hack your body's senses such that they revert from the normal um, interaction with other people So to now you do everything on a text, mm-hmm. everything on a phone. I mean, someone dies in the community, you hear about it on a phone be first, before you're told, mm-hmm. ish. Yachula Kesha, amen. Yachula. But but I guess where, where you were going was you should watch what you consume not just into your mouth and your esophagus and your in your stomach, but also mentally, like the content you're consuming can also um do something to you in terms of decreasing or increasing your vibration. Exactly. Um you must understand the Gucci as what regular my platform. We ourselves use them for brand promotion and, and educating people. We're just saying, watch the content being produced on these platforms. You can see what is junk food. Uh, you show about a bachelor or whatever. We book it and binge watch it the whole day. Mm. Productivity, by the way. They're programming you. Mm. They're programming you to dump down and make you toss up. Mm. To not be productive. Mm. To not be creative. Yeah. To not be a co-creator as a young and small god. A divine being who has a creative spark and who has been given a blueprint, Yoguti, this is what you came here to create, to give back to the world. Instead, you now spend your time um, consuming Izinto that are breaking you mentally. They are, you, you're now not only stagnant, you are devolving. Mm. You're going backwards in your evolution. You're becoming addicted to violence, addicted to anxiety. Um, anything that is propaganda and makes you panic you're the first one to spread it most are into that is supposed to spread light border because it's the programming that's made you yeah. docile. true um people must be very wary of what they consume because what you consume mentally will filter into what how you operate at consciousness level but where to what does the word conscious means it means attention if they can control your attention They'll control your consciousness. If you are not controlling your consciousness, you are unconscious. So I'm Kulma Sivala. Sivala. Sivala.